It's an amazing moment. This is the 1000th Hubnut video. Extraordinary. That's a lot of videos. In this one, I am determined to get this driving and running. Is it actually going to happen? I hope so, because this really is momentous. Uh, I am going to drive this Altset today. Oh yes, uh, I've just realised the fuel cap's off at the moment, just been filling her up with petrol. Um, so hopefully that'll make her a bit more inclined to go. There we go. I've rolled her back a bit so I can actually get the driver's door open. And uh, we can hop aboard and slot the key in. I need to go and get the jump pack again. Everyone was being really harsh about my cheap Chinese jump pack saying it was rubbish. Um, it's probably because in the editing process I edited out a number of non-starts of this car. I actually um, tried to start this car several times. And uh, I don't think it's the car's fault, sorry, the pack's fault, that the car didn't start. That was my fault for not thinking, hmm, maybe we should put some petrol in it. Uh, so we'll get the battery pack connected up and we'll see if we have any more joy this time. Sorry, really close fingers. But uh, there we go, we've got the jump pack connected up. Let's see if we've got any life. We have life. Uh, choke is set. Let's set a bit more of that. And uh, let's see what we do. Yes. Might take a bit, bit of um, dribbling petrol down the carburetor to um, actually get this thing to fire up. We're just going to do a bit more of that. Let's go again. A bit more um, petrol dribbled in. Um, just to try and get it drawing the fuel through uh, before it runs out of fuel again. Yeah, it's struggling to um, draw the petrol through. Um, it could be the fuel pumps died. These fuel pumps don't like sitting. This car has sat for quite a long time. Um, seven years since it last had fresh fuel. Um, so it could just be we're suffering from that. But let's just give it one more try. Yes, um, we'll try once more, eh? That was probably a bit too much petrol, but here we go. Yeah, it's just running out of fuel. It's not getting fresh fuel through, is it? Uh, this is frustrating, but it's not the jump pack's fault that fuel isn't getting through. Like I said, the fuel pump might have gone kaput on us. I mean, I have driven this car. But uh, if the fuel pump's not pumping, then we're not going to have any joy. Um, I will try that once more. But just to confirm, down here we've got the fuel filter. Fuel filter is absolutely full of petrol. You can see the air bubble there. The petrol is at least getting that far. If I had an assistant here, I would get them to, um, we'd, we'd hold this over the carburetor and see if it fills the carburetor up. Uh, I suppose I could grab a plastic bottle. Now let's see if the pump will pump some fuel into a bottle. Let's try that. Right, we've got a bottle set up here. We're just going to crank it a couple of times and uh, see if any fuel enters that bottle. I could leave you watching, but you're coming with me instead. Let's see if anything splooched into the bottle. Yes, it's a uh, very old looking petrol. Uh, it's very yellow, looks like pee. But there we go. Fuel has definitely been drawn through. So that isn't our issue, um, which makes me wonder if it's something in the carburetor. Ew. That really does look like a specimen, doesn't it? That is not very nice petrol. So it might just be that this petrol is just too old. I'm just going to seal that back in there because no one wants to drink that. Go back to where we were, which is to dribble in some fresh petrol uh, to try and fill up the float bowls on the carburetor somewhat with fresh fuel. There we go, Ooh, careful. There we go. See where we are this time. You sound like you want to go, Altsit, so come on. Yeah. 
here. It's just not um, liking the fuel, I don't think, is it? Oh, almost went. And now the jump pack is crying enough. Uh, so uh, I think maybe I'll put more fuel in the tank. It doesn't help. We're on the wrong gradient. I think the car is actually slightly tailed down, which might be preventing it picking up the fresh fuel I've put in the tank. But nonetheless, I'm pretty sure that's our problem. Uh, what's that? Oh, oh dear, I may have killed a snail. Sorry, snail. Caught in the door jamb. Right, put more fuel in the tank. Another splosh of fuel into the carburetor. Uh, come on, alt set. Oh, that's better. We're definitely off the red mark now, so that's encouraging. Ah, uh, I think we've reached the limit of the jump pack again. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. So, just to remind you, um, this is an entirely flat battery. And uh, we sadly killed the jump pack again. Uh, so I'll have to hook up a conventional battery and try again. Uh, might not use Foxanne this time. I think she's suffered enough. Might roll out and see if we can use another Citroen. Maybe that will be more encouraging. Uh, the handbrake is still rather minimal on this car at the moment. As in, it's this brick. Oop. Off the brick car, come on. There we go. She seems to be rolling better today, I would say, he said, getting squashed by three quarters of a ton of Romanian Altsit. Yeah, keep on going, keep on going, girl. Today would be good. No, you don't want to do that. Fine. This new Altsit needs a name. Am I going to hit my brick? Almost. There we go. Although if she wants to stop there, we'll just let her stop there, eh? Uh, right, we'll bring another Citroen over. Uh, I think Ellie might be easiest, actually. Try some regular jump leads. Right, from one air cool Citroen to another with a Romanian accent. Oh, now we've got a duff connection going on somewhere. Ah, oh, there we go. Now we've got some lights. Just not getting fuel through, are we? And not fuel that actually wants to run on. Yeah, we're just getting that initial burst of fuel and then nothing. This is uh, a bit frustrating. If at first you don't succeed, just keep blooming trying. Yeah, she's just not drawing the fuel through for some reason. So the pump is working. You have to wonder whether there's some sort of blockage in the carburetor itself. Because putting petrol in the carb works, uh, then she fuels up, uh, but then uh, she doesn't. So, hmm. Oh, fun works. Look at the detritus coming out of that. Oh, two speed fan. Whoa. Whoa, exciting things coming out of there. Is that meant to happen? Ah, yes, bits of foam from um, tired cardboard hoses. Settled for the day. Oh, we got the radio even works. But what doesn't work is the blooming engine. Okay, two things here. Uh, one, I've just pulled the little filter out of here to see whether it was filthy. It wasn't. It was absolutely fine. So that isn't the issue. But I have just noticed there's a shut-off solenoid. 
So, but when you turn the ignition off, it cuts the fuel supply. I've just given that a few smacks just in case that's not playing ball. Um, although actually, if I put the ignition on, I might be able to test this. Let's put the ignition on. We've got the battery disconnected at the moment. Right, so effectively the ignition's dead until I ground this cable out. So the question is, do I feel that click? I do not. Let's give it a bit of this is electrical contact cleaner rather than brake cleaner, but it's close. Okay. Oh, did you hear that? That was the sound of the solenoid working. We've not had that before. Uh, let's just fire Ellie up again. Sorry, Ellie, old girl. There we go. Splash a little more fuel in, just to dribble. There we go. See what happens now, shall we? That solenoid definitely made a noise. Ah! That wasn't the ob uh, issue, obviously. That is still um, still not working. Well, this is officially perplexing. I have no idea what's going on. We shall thank Ellie for her input at this time. Disconnect the battery again. I should put it on the floor, it's the safest place. And uh, at this juncture, it might be worth pulling the top off the carburetor. Maybe. Interestingly, the carburetor is a Lysenta Solex. I don't know if that means for license built Solex, made in Romania. So something must be amiss in the carburetor. If the pump is pumping and uh, the engine is running on a squirt of fuel and something is going wrong. That needs a smaller screwdriver. I think Ellie has one. Yes, I'm a bit disappointed that connecting up a Citroen did not work. I hope the gasket doesn't fall apart as we take this off. Um, that's all going to be a problem. We might have to get this off as well, I think. Oh, this is fun. There's a little spring here and everything. Look at that. Just not quite enough room to get the um, screwdriver in. That's all. Very Citroen. Oh, there's a spring in there as well. Marvellous. Springs everywhere. Okay, that's now free. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we got some crud in the float bowl down there for sure. This is why... Good old musty one always pulls stuff out, but yeah, there's all sorts of mank in these jets as well. So um, let's clean everything up. We've got some blue roll. And we'll clean out the float bowls. Yeah, that's mucky. And then in that one. All kinds of mucky. Oh, yes. Nasty sediment and all sorts in there. This is not what you want. Get rid of this rag before it blows away. I think at this juncture it might be worth pulling the um, jets out, so we'll do that one at a time. He says. Let's go for a pointier screwdriver. Crack. I have no idea which jet this is. It is definitely one of them. Yeah, that's all clear. Nonetheless, we'll give it a quick spray with this stuff. Nonetheless, let's make sure that is clear from the top. Yeah, so you can kind of see how this works. You squirt fuel in and it comes out the holes. 
So that one's good. I wonder what's going on just there. Uh, not the easy start, that's not what I want at the moment. Oh, gold. All sorts of um, nasty crud coming out when I squirt into there. Mmm, lovely. So yeah, there's definitely crud going on in there. I'm not going to pull out these tiny jets here. I'm going to hope that that has um, worked. Just trying to blast it out with the power of this um, electrical contact cleaner. I think what I'm effectively doing is back flushing it into the float chamber. Maybe I will just check the um, pump inlet is passing fluid. Yep, there it is. You can see it coming from the needle valve. So needle valve seems to be working. That's another thing it could be, even needle valves just not letting petrol go into the carburetor. Um, I think I'm going to get another load of blue roll on and we'll try again. I hope you could see that. I'm not really lining the camera up very well. Check the pump is working. I've just left the carb top sitting there. We've got the um, fuel pump connected up here. So in theory, it should pump some fuel into the float bowl. So um, let's try that. I'll just have to fire Ellie up again. See, that's how you do it, Altsa. Almost feels like it wants to go and I haven't even attached the top of the carburetor. Well, that's impressive. <laughs> Blimey. Uh, there we go. Seem to have done the trick. Right, I'm going to just uh, assemble all this and uh, we'll give that another go. Okay then, was that just a fluke or have I actually managed to fix it? No, that appears to be a running engine. Just about, oh. Wow, I'm amazed. Move these tools, I might connect the um, air filter back up. I hope we can actually go for a drive. I wouldn't hold an idle while I did that, but um, let's just try again. Right, disconnect Ellie and we'll see if we can um, go for a drive. Yeah, mine need a new wiper blade. Nonetheless, it works. Indicators. No, got no lights going on at all. Oh, I've left it on intermittent. There we go. Rear. Oh, I don't miss wind. Come on, rear wiper. There we go. Doesn't seem to have any wash going on, but a wipe we definitely had. Uh, let's try. 
lights, but I'll turn the I think we've got lights. I can't see. Let's have a look. Have we got lights? We've got one headlamp. There's the proof. So, uh, sort of life, it would seem. Right then, uh, let's see See what I mean about the steering. The steering is very stiff. Oh, I've gone all the way to fog lights. There we go. Let's turn the lights off. A reminder that the only brake I have is the handbrake. So obviously you wouldn't go driving on the road in a car with only that working, but nonetheless, I'm driving an old sit. Yeah, that, definitely something wrong with that steering and something sees somewhere. A very clunky front end feel as well. So uh, something definitely not right there. Oh, she's perky. Yeah, this is um, amazing. I'm having a drive in my alt set. In many ways, it's quite similar to the GSA. In other ways, totally different. Am I open that window? Because I think I can. The window your side is practically falling out. But yeah, I'm driving my Altair. Yay! Ooh. Slow ourselves down a bit. Handbrake is handily on the front wheels. So uh, that's quite good. Oh, no, I'm pressing the foot brake. That isn't going to work. I don't think the foot brake even pumps up. No, it's utterly dead, unfortunately. There we go. It's running absolutely beautifully. I cannot complain about that, can I? That is sweet, but then she's only got 49,000 kilometers on the clock, which is only a bit over, well, actually, no, it's about exactly 30,000 miles. So she should, should sound pretty sweet. Oh, happy days. Well, this doesn't happen very often. I washed it. Seeing as it's a thousand subs, uh, not a thousand subs, a thousand videos. Uh, I think she deserved it. She's come up very nicely. I wasn't the passenger window is actually um, loose in its runner, so um, a little bit damp got inside, but if we put the wiper on now, just give her a few revs. Oh, look at that. That's still a knackered wiper blade. Should we try the rear one? See if it'll go. Oh, yeah. Seems it's an intermittent one. Is the intermittent bit working? If so, it's a very long delay. Oh, there we go. There we go. So front and rear wipers work. What luxury. And uh, I've left it ticking over here um, while I wash it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's all well. So yeah, if you don't like Citroëns, you're not going to like my fleet at the moment. But that makes me very happy. That um, feels very positive. So we'll go through the steering. We'll try and find out what's um, binding there. It sounds like to me there's a ball joint or something a bit knackered somewhere there as well. So that might well be um, related. Uh, we'll go through the brakes. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get this one back on the road before too long. 
Uh, there's other things going on in life um, of a housey nature, so I'm not sure how quick it's going to be, but I am very, very excited about this indeed. So yeah, 1,000 videos I've now put out on YouTube, uh, which is an indication if you want to um, become a YouTuber and make a living at it, that's the sort of volume you need if you're getting the sort of views per video that I am. Uh, so someone like Cleus McFarland, he's on about 800 videos, but he's got 2 million subscribers. So uh, a very different sort of a channel. But yeah, I'm really pleased. Uh, I have a running and driving-ish, if you ignore brakes, Alter, and uh, yeah, that's very, very pleasing indeed. I do find it amusing how many people take a first look at the back, and because of this black trim, I think it's a Fiesta XR2. I suppose it has got those vibes going on, but lovely sounding exhaust, I think. Oh, I'm really pleased. Uh, I'm going to rev her up a bit because there's a lot of condensate in that exhaust. We need to try and dry that out. I'm impressed with this lowly spec, and this is like bottom of the range. It does have a rev counter. Uh, now, now it's warming up. I can hear the um, camshaft. Um, Sam said there's a slight issue with one of the camshafts on this engine. Overhead cam engine. Yeah, it's no longer sounding quite so smooth, is it? So uh, there might be more work to do on this car yet. It might be more than I imagined, but... I mean, it's driving, so it's one of those that isn't the ultimate emergency. Uh, that's meant to be a light that tells you whether your brake fluid is broken or not. I'm assuming that's dashboard illumination there. I'm still finding my way around this car. We've got headlamp height adjustment there. I don't know how that works. I'm not going to touch it. Um, fan controls over here, a little ashtray. And uh, I haven't even looked in the glove box yet. Oh, apparently I won't be. Apparently the glove box is locked. Well, I can't turn the engine off because I'm not sure it'll restart. Uh, I'm not sure if this battery is going to come back. But, uh, yeah, really, really pleased. Um, I think I'm going to end it there then. And, uh, we shall say, uh, there are definitely some um, future adventures to come with this car on Hubnut. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support. And don't forget you can head to the Hubnut store. We are hoping to restock these next month. We'll run out of large and XL. And I think Triangle of Doom are getting a bit low as well. Um, so hopefully next month we can get those restocked. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in video 1001. Farewell. Really does look like a Star Trek logo, doesn't it? <laughs>